A couple days ago, he just randomly smacked the in the ass in a basketball game, right? Now I say, bro, let me see your phone. He gives me the phone. I open up the phone and I see dicks. Penises in your phone, bro. Ain't no no snakes was in that grass until I heard him hissing. And I knew you was a thought, that's why we fucked, but we ain't do no kissing. I was getting pussy back when I ain't have a pot to piss in. And I ain't running from no smoke, that's from the opposition. Wanna have a shootout, nigga, let me be your competition. I've been paranoid, I need some guns and hella ammunition. Hey, look, before I get started in this video, because I don't, look, I don't want nobody labeling me, bro. This is just a funny story that really happened in your boy Mako's life. I am not homophobic at all. I got some very cool homies that's gay. I got some family members that's gay. You understand? So I'm not homophobic. I'm just telling the story. Okay. What up, Moolah Gang? It's your boy Mac Moolah, a.k.a. Mr. Moolah Mac, and I'm back. With another video. In today's video, I got another story time because I know y'all love that motherfucker. So go ahead and smash that thumbs up button for your boy Racco. Drop another story time. Let's get it. Nigga. Nah, but anyway, y'all, I know y'all seen that title in that thumbnail, and I know a lot of people gonna take this shit the wrong way and all type of twists and turns and like I'm just all crazy and bad and shit. But I'm not, like I said at the beginning of the video. But we ain't even gonna get into all that too much. Y'all know I don't do too much talking, man. Y'all know that. Make sure y'all smash that thumbs up button, though. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Get in that comment section below, and if you want some more story times from your boy Mac Moolah, let me know. You did. Okay. <laughs> So where do I start? So I was very young in this story. This particular story time, I'm gonna put y'all back where I was at. Boom, I was like 11 years old, y'all. This way back, you feel me? So I'm like 11 years old, and I know what gay is. You feel me? Everybody, and when you 11, everybody be like, boy, stop doing that shit, that's gay. Boy, don't touch me like that, that's gay. Boy, I ain't with all that gay ass shit, boy, that's gay. When you 11, that's how you feel me, that's how you talking and shit, but you don't really know what's gay. I mean, you know. But you don't know. You did. So anyway, I'm you when you 11, y'all know how it is. This is before high school and shit. So when nobody fucking, when nobody sucking dick. Well, at least in my school, when nobody sucking dick at 11. When nobody getting into it. It wasn't uh, too many fights going on. You know what I'm saying? Everything kind of squeak. You know, everybody's still kind of good. You feel me? Everybody's still kind of innocent. Ain't nobody going to jail. All that shit. So when that, when it's like that, you, your homies. It be a lot of y'all. You know what I'm saying? It be a whole lot of y'all. You cool with everybody. That's how I was. So I'm cool with everybody. When I was right? that young, I used to hang around a whole, like a group of people, but it was like the weirdest group. It'd be like 10 niggas from the hood, two nerds, a regular nigga like me, two more regular niggas like me, a white boy. It was just crazy. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I was in this particular group. So I'm at camp, right? This wasn't school. This was not school. This was camp. So I'm at fucking camp, right? It's the summertime, bro. And I'm at camp. And I'm not going to say this man's name. I'm not going to say his name because I ain't going to put him out there like that. I'm just not going to be the one that's telling all the people that's watching this video that he gay. If he want to tell you, he can tell you his damn self. You feel me? So anyway, I'm kicking it around this nigga. And me and this nigga, we was cool as fuck. Huh? Like, we cool as hell. Like me and this nigga, we used to play with the tech decks together. You feel what I'm saying? The little the fingerboards, skateboards on your fingers. We used to play with them motherfuckers and shit. Uh, we used to goddamn. I used to. I went to his his, his mama house a few times. You feel me? I just slept over his crib a few times. I didn't kicked it over his crib. His mama didn't fed me and all type of shit. So a motherfucker can only imagine how you would find. Like, we don't get into it. Don't worry about it, y'all. I know y'all probably heard stories like this, but if I'm lying, I am dying and I'm alive right now. Listen, so like I said, I used to, I used to stay, I was just spending night over this nigga house, bro. You feel me? I used to wear this nigga clothes, bro, like to sleep. Like, you feel me? I used to come over here, this is my, I thought it was my brother. You know what I mean? So, bro, one day, we at camp. And now, when we at camp, we used to take these little field trips and shit, right? So, we used, we went to the movie theater on this one field trip. We went to see some movie and shit. You know, they rent the whole movie theater out for the kids, the kids, whatever. So, we end up watching the fucking movie, and I'm eating my popcorn, and I don't know where my homie is at, right? I was just kicking it with him on the on the bus. He at, I don't know where he at. So, I turn around, you know, I'm like looking for him. I'm like, where the fuck is my homie at? You know, I got, I feel, I'm still sitting, sitting, sitting next to a couple of my homies and, you, you know, a few, a few thotties. You feel me? You know, y'all know back on how to keep thotties even when he was 11. You feel me? I'm with a few little thotties over here. They're my homies next to me, but I'm looking for my one homie that I, you feel me? I was just fucking with. So I'm looking around. I can't find this nigga. Finally, a few, you know what I'm saying, maybe 20, 30 minutes that went by. I turn around, look up, you feel me, in the stand. And I see this nigga in a corner by himself. Hanging with a weird nigga, standing next to him with his arm over his arm over his shoulders like this. I said, what the fuck is going on here? So I go up there and I ask him, I'm like, bro, 
What the fuck are you doing? What's going on? Let's look a little, you know what I mean? Look a little sweet to me, sweetness. What's happy like, bro? I'm just kicking it. You feel me? I'm like, all right, nigga. So I just went back to my seat, perplexed. Like, I'm, you feel me? I'm fucked up. I'm like, why the fuck did this nigga got his hand around this weird ass? And then there was a weird nigga that nobody even talked to. So we like, what the fuck going on? Everybody like, what the hell going on with this nigga? Like, what's wrong with him? You feel me? After the movies, so a few weeks go by, a few days, whatever the fuck. And we went to, like, we went to this, this, this park. Now this park had a basketball court. You know what I'm saying? So we all hooping. Doo, 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 doo. We going crazy. Ah, 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 ah. Step back. Ah, ah. You feel me? I'm doing my thing. Everybody hooping. So my homie, the, you know, the nigga that was just upstairs hang, hugging niggas in the movie theater. That nigga. The same nigga. You feel me? He hooping too. He ah, ah, ah. going crazy. Ah, 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 ah. Step back. Ah. You feel me? So everything regular and shit. I ain't questioning. I ain't forgot about it at this point. I'm like, whatever. He was just tweaking. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know. So next thing you know, you know what I'm saying, we playing full court, up and down, so, we, so, so, so my homie, he dribbling the ball off the court, right, and he go up for a layup, folks foul him, you know what I'm saying, woo, and this nigga get up, he say, good foul, smack another nigga in the ass, foul, I said, what the fuck is going on here, holy shit, what, why, why you smacking niggas asses, see, now, now, ain't no, no excuse for that one, nah, see, we gotta call the popo, somebody call the police, somebody call the police right now, why you smacking niggas asses, bro, you know what I'm saying? We 11 years old. You feel me? Niggas ain't get comfortable with smacking asses in the basketball game until they was at least 15, and I was only organized basketball. You feel me? And I don't know what the fuck about y'all, but when I was hooping on an organized team, what nobody smacking my ass? That just wasn't happen. Not no man, nor no woman either. But especially not no damn man. What the fuck is wrong with him? So I'm looking, everybody stop what they doing. Looking at this nigga like, why are you just smacking asses, bro? Cause the other day, now, nah, see, now I remember. Now I remember. You was just upstairs. You was just at the top, the top row at the movie theater, hugged up with a white boy. So what's going on, bro? Same shit. Forget all about, well, I ain't forget about that one. Let me tell you. I ain't forget about that. But, you know, I kind of forgot about it. I'm kind of trying to let it go or whatever. Maybe he just doing that shit, because, you know, they do do that shit at NBA. You feel me? So whatever. So, 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 see, this is what fucked me up. So, like, a couple days later, we, we back at camp, because, like I said, it was a summer camp. So we go back to camp. You feel me? And this nigga, he had like a smartphone. Like this is when smartphones had just came out. Like touchscreen was just coming out. You feel me? And he had one of them bitches. I had a flip phone and it was both. So I used to ask him to let me see his shit. You know what I'm saying? He used to have these little app games, a little stupid ass shit he used to play on there. So I'm like, let me see this. You feel me? So I, I'm like, let me see your phone. I'm finna go to the bathroom. You know what I mean? I'm finna go take me a shit. He like, Brian, giving you my phone to go take no shit. I'm like, bro, give me the phone and take a shit, bro. He like, you can have the phone when you come back. I'm like, whatever. So I go take a shit. I come back. I guess when I come back, I grab his phone, he playing Yu-Gi-Oh cards or something, whatever the fuck he was doing, some shit. He playing something. So he go to, he go stand in line to go to the bathroom, right? So I'm like, let me see your phone. I shit you not. I, bro, I'm not playing with y'all, bro. Y'all be thinking, y'all be in fucking insulting me in the comment section thinking I'm playing. I'm not playing, bro. This is some real shit. Does it look like I'm playing to you? No, I'm not. Bro, I get, he give me his phone. I already knew his password because I used to do this kind of a lot. This man gives me his phone. Now, this is after a week ago. I just caught him in a movie theater, hugged up with a white boy. A couple days ago, he just randomly smacked the nigga in the ass in a basketball game, right? Now, I say, bro, let me see your phone. He gives me the phone. He gets in line to go do whatever he was finna do to get something to eat. And can I open up the phone and I see dicks. What the fuck? What, what, what the fuck? What, why you got, why you got penises in your phone, bro? I just, I just, why do you have, why did, why do I see penises in your phone, bro? I'm like, I'm like, what's going on, bro? I didn't, bro, I didn't, I just, I, I just slept over your house. Okay, I didn't, I, 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 I bro, you was my brother, bro. You, 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 so you gay? You gay? Look, I ain't got no problem with gay people, but let me, just let me know. You gay? I'm like, bro, what the fuck is going on, bro? Couldn't believe my eyes. Obviously, when I seen it, I'm like, ah, oh, you feel me? I dropped the phone and some more shit, probably broke it and some more shit. So I exited out of the little, you know what I'm saying? He was on like a little, a uh, uh, whatever, I don't know, a website, but just a bunch of dicks. I don't know what the fuck was going on. So I wait for him to get out of line from getting the food, and he come back, and I'm like, bro, why do you got penises on your phone? He said, that's what I like. I said, what the fuck do you mean? That's what you like. He say, I like that. No bullshit. I'm not making this up. I know it sound crazy. Oh, y'all not gonna believe me, bro. Y'all finna piss me off. Look, I know it sound crazy. 11 year old is talking about penis. But he's talking about that's what he like. He said he like how it look and he like it. That's what he said. So I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? 
So at 11 years old, I, I handled the, I handled it immaturely. You know what I mean? I, I stood up and told the whole camp he was gay. That's what I did. Shit, he gay finna be walking around not gay. And I don't know. You feel me? Even back then at 11 years old, I didn't have a problem with gay people, bro. But don't be don't be having me sleep over your house and shit, bro. And I'm, I'm getting changed in front of you and shit. We in the locker room together and shit, bro. I got my shirt off. You feel me? And you gay and I don't even know you. Don't be doing that, bro. That's some bullshit, bro. But yeah, y'all, that's how I found out my homie was gay, man. I, one of the most traumatic experiences of my life. You feel me? Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, I don't have no problem with no gay folks, bro. But even to this day, bro, if I'm hanging around you and you just got me thinking that you straight and I'm, I'm sleeping at your crib and getting changed in front of you and shit and you tell me you gay, we got a box. And that's just how it's going to go. You round here, walk around, you talking to girls with me on Tuesday. But I find out on Fridays you looking at dicks. And the, nah, bro, nah, that's, you, I'm, I'm, I'm whooping your ass, bro. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all smash that thumbs up button. It's your boy, Mac Moolah. And I'm over like the Autobots. Oh, yeah. And yes, that nigga is gay. He's still gay to this day. You feel me? And you know what I'm saying? I'm cool with him. On some real shit. Me and him is cool. But that just was fucked up, bro. You had to do it. I'm out. Like I'm I know I came twice, but I don't get no fuck, I'm still fucking Seen them hit the floor, but they don't get no fuck, they still bustin' We see cops around, but we don't get no fuck, we still clutching. Started getting money last year, and that shit still coming. Seen us in the red, pussy nigga probably still running. Heard you fell in love with a thought, goofy nigga still loving. She know I got a bitch, but she still crushing.